Hello my friend, happy to see you here and really interesting exponential equation today. I would say tricky exponential equation because this is not like a common exponential, this is not like a general exponential equation, 1 to the x equal to 2. And all know that this is not possible because we have like 1 to the power, doesn't matter what a power, like 1 to the 10 equal to 1 all the time. But this is tricky equation and I'm going to show that right here we will find our roots and let's try to solve it step by step. But first of all, let's prove that for here we'll have like no real solution. Maybe we'll have like, maybe we'll not have, but let's try to, to show it. So first of all, let's take natural log on both sides. So natural log of 1 to the x equal to natural log 2. Yeah, so just taking natural log on both sides. If you know a little bit about natural logs, about this property, this x jump right here in the beginning. So x times natural log 1 equal to natural log 2. Doesn't matter, this is a constant, this is a constant, so let's divide both sides by this natural log 1. If we divide, we'll have like x equal to natural log 2 over natural log 1. This is our x. But if you look closely, natural log 2 we can easily find, this is like value, this is a good constant for us, if you're talking in this way, this is a good constant. But natural log 1, this is not a good constant, because this is equal to 0, yeah? And we cannot divide by zero, so right here there is zero are no real real solutions. Okay, we we show that right here there is no real solutions right here. But how can we find that how can we find complex root right here? Let's start with this with this step. I want to start with Euler's identity, so e to the power i times theta equal to cosine theta cosine theta plus i sine theta. So let's start with this identity. So everyone should know this identity. This is Euler's identity. And let's try to go step by step with the special cases. So how, what, what expression give us this, uh, this Euler's identity if we go with special cases? So special case one, if when theta equal to equal to zero. If theta equal to zero, what we'll have? e to the power i times zero equal to cosine cosine theta, which is equal to zero, so I write it as cosine theta plus i sine theta, okay? So we write this expression, and right here we will have like cosine theta if theta equal to zero, this is equal to one, and this is equal to zero, so equal to, equal to one, which is absolutely correct, because e to the power zero equal to, equal to one. But let's go to the, let's try to get in other cases right here, because for example, let's write this expression in another way, let's get a period. If theta equal to, for example, 2k pi, let's write this substitution, if theta equal to 2k pi, and let's go with the whole numbers right here, for z, yeah, let's work with, with k equal to 1, 2, 3, and of course k is like integers, yeah? So this is, I prove that Euler's identity is good for us, and right here let's write a substitution, so theta equal to 2k pi. This is really important moment right here. If theta equal to 2k pi, what expression we will have right now? We will have like e to the power i times 2k pi equal to cosine 2k pi times, not times, like plus i sine 2k pi, yeah? Okay, I, I just write this substitution as I told before, theta equal to 2k pi and I change this theta by 2k pi. Okay, and right now let's make special cases right here. If k equal to 1, what, do you have, what we will have as a result? If k equal to 1, we will have like e to the power i times 2 pi equal to cosine 2 pi plus i sine 2 pi, yeah? Because k equal to 1. And if you look closely, cosine 2 pi equal to 1 and sine 2 pi equal to equal to 0. So as a result, when k equal to 1, we will have the answer is equal to 1. Because this expression give us 1, this, is, this expression give us 0. So this expression equal to 1 when k equal to 1. This is a really important step right here. Okay, when k equal to 2, for example, let's go right here. When k equal to 2, we will have like e to the power i times uh, 2 times 2, we'll have like 4 pi plus, not like plus, equal to cosine 4 pi plus i sine 4 pi, yeah? And let's look closely to this expression. So cosine 4 pi, this is like a period, yeah? Because this is equal to 1 as well. 
and i sine 2 pi, this is equal to equal to 0, but doesn't matter, 1 plus 0 equal to 1. So this expression all the time give us 1 when k equal to 1 and 2. And let's check once more, let's check our final, for example, k equal to like 3, yeah, step by step, k equal to 3. We will have like e to the power i times 6 pi equal to cosine 6 pi cosine 6 pi plus i sine 6 pi, yeah? And this is the same period as I told before because we have like cosine 6 pi equal to equal to 1 and sine 6 pi doesn't matter equal to 0, so we will have 1. So as you can see, we have all the time 1 to this expression when k is 1, 2 or 3, so when k is integer, so we can write this expression right here, I write it, we will have like e to the power i times 2 times k times pi equal to 1 all the time when k is integer, when k is a whole number, yeah? Oh yeah, we, I, I told, I showed it before, so when k equal to 1, when 2, when 3, we have all the time 1 right here. So this expression, this is really good, because this expression give us 1 when k is integer. And right here before, we have this expression, 1 to the power x equal to 2. Let's change this 1 by this e to the power i 2k pi, yeah? Let's change this one by 2k pi, but really interesting moment, this solution works only when k is z, so it's not like a general solution to this problem, it's not like an r, all real numbers, only when k is z, but this is really great, I guess, we find our answer. So right here, let's solve this question when one equal to e to the power i 2k pi. So we have e to the power i times two times k times pi, to the power x equal to 2. So this is our 1, e to the power i 2k pi. But of course, k is integer, so we need to work with this, we only with integers. Let's take a natural log on both sides right here. So we will have like natural log of this expression on the left, e to the power i 2k pi to the power x equal to natural log 2. Okay, this x jump right here in the beginning, or let's write it as multiplication right here, and let's bring all this power right here be before this natural log. So we will have like natural log e to the power i 2k pi x equal to natural log 2, yeah? Okay, let's bring this power right here in the beginning, so we will have i times 2k pi x times natural log e. Let, don't write it natural log e, this is equal to 1, so we can either cancel equal to natural log, natural log 2, yeah? Natural log 2. Natural log 2, okay? And from here let's find our x because we need to, we need to find our answer right here. So from here our x, I write it right here on the top, so our x will be equal to natural log 2, over i times 2k pi. Let's simplify this a little bit because let's multiply by i, right here by i and right here by i, because we know that i over i equal to 1 and i times i equal to minus 1, so i square minus 1. So we will have like our answer right here, so minus natural log 2 times i over 2 k pi. But right here we need to write that our k is not equal to 0 and our k is an integer number, is z, so is, is an integer, integer, yeah? So this is our solution to this, to this question. Let's go step by step real quick one here. So no real solution, we proved this in the beginning. And right here I go with Euler's identity. So this identity, I proved that right here this identity is good for us, so this is equal to 1, this is correct identity. And then I go with substitution, so theta equal to 2k pi. If theta equal to 2k pi doesn't matter with k, with k, all the time we have 1 on the right hand side, yeah? But k is an integer, this is like a really interesting moment. And right here I change this expression, but is this one by this expression um, as, as before, because this is equal to one, we prove this as Euler's identity special cases, and we will have our answer if we're talking about complex root. 
Of course, this is not like a general solution. We cannot solve it like for all numbers, for real, for complex. This is only solution for k is an integer and k is not equal to zero. If you have a really interesting notes, so write your notes in the comment section. If you like this video, if you want to support me, leave a like before be below the video. I really appreciate it. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematical adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.